Hey everyone, hi, how are you? Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Winter and I'm Claire Cognizant. I'm Claire Audient, Clairvoyant, and Claire Sentient. And I'm also an intuitive empath and I use those gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from Spirit for You. And if you're here, it's no coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. And besides, Tarot and Oracle are extremely sensitive to energy. And your spirit team, they um, they will like pull you in for whatever reason, whether or not it is. Look, they will pull you in just as I'm talking about pulling you in this card right here. Closeness, intimacy, belonging. So, um, so they will pull you in. That's just confirmation. Um, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on this reading. Um, if you are interested in your own personal private reading, please feel free to check out the description box. And also, um, real quick, um, on, on or around the first of each month, I choose one of my lucky subscribers to win a free reading from me. So all you've got to do is be subscribed, like the video, and comment because I will randomly choose a video from the previous month and then randomly choose one of my subscribers out of the comments to win a free reading. So I'm just going to do a real quick prayer cleanse out the energy for myself and yourself and then just <clears throat> calling on the light to guide this reading this will also help you to connect with this reading as well i call upon the light spirit guides and any and all benevolent energies, entities, beings, higher light beings that come only from divine source energy of love and light that can best assist with this reading to guide, bless, and protect this reading, myself, and each and every soul that finds their way here. May the messages received here today be of value and really make a difference for in the lives of those that feel drawn to this reading. I thank you for the accuracy of the cards and the accuracy on my part as well to channel and receive honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. So, you guys, what I was picking up earlier for the collective is um, being thrown off track. So, you may have been thrown off track with like a relationship, um, maybe with your uh, spiritual journey, uh, with your career, um, some area of your life where there has been some sort of um chaos doesn't have to be like positive or negative it, whatever it is there's something here that has kind of like thrown you off track in some area um and i'm not saying that's what the reading is going to be about but just that's what i was picking up so if you've been struggling and you've been thrown off track recently like you can expect to like you know, get back on track. You can expect things to start to flow. So like, yeah, you may have like been like going um, on your journey, you know, like you've been going down this road and then everything's going great. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, you, you just kind of uh, go off the road a bit and, you know, it's like someone driving and they get, uh, off on the side of the road and it's like all bumpy and then they finally have you know straighten up and get it on the road like that's what I'm seeing uh for some of you that you have uh been dealing with so anyways let's go ahead and jump in and see look yeah because uh the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands like you um uh, male or female it doesn't matter but there is this energy of like you are really taking the bull by the horn so to speak and like um uh gaining control over a situation and like having this uh, let me just see how many times i can say like 
anyways but like you are very determined uh to to overcome whatever this is that's had you thrown off track uh like persevering okay let's see y'all what messages do you have for the collective spirit show me clearly oh look the knight of pentacles you may be receiving some sort of an offer or an opportunity i'm seeing too someone like you may have to um put up boundaries with someone in your life or it's like you're having to like fight for something right now but this knight of pentacles you've definitely got this energy of drive and determination with something there's a, like a goal that you want to achieve you, you know some of you that somebody may be wanting to like go to school or go back to school or um uh you know like whatever this is though be careful because um there may be a, a little bit of perfectionism like you may have like a sneaky voice of perfectionism that you're dealing with or that could pop up so like you may feel a bit frustrated if everything isn't perfect or if you're not perfect if you don't feel like you're coming across as being perfect you know and so it, it could cause you to to um either like hide certain aspects of yourself or hide certain things um because they don't appear to be perfect okay the queen of cups i'm seeing a an an emotional offer you could have some of you could be dealing with an earth sign or have earth in your chart or you could um or uh water or earth so we've got some water and earth here could be dealing with a um an emotional uh very emotional situation you may feel yeah you may be um like I'm getting this energy of a of a divine feminine um trying to do it all. So you know, you I mean, you could be this masculine too that's just really trying to do it all, trying to keep it all together, living up to some sort of an expectation, trying to live up to other people's expectations. Um trying to live up to some sort of a an expectation that maybe you have of yourself or you could be um, expecting other people or someone else to live up to some sort of expectation that you have of them and the three of cups okay <clears throat> look you are definitely uh got reason to celebrate there there's something here uh, something here that's changing so you may have been um something in your life may have been taking a while to happen you know like you've been really patient you've been um uh, really patient with a person or a situation and you have uh, something here has been taking a while and um and whatever this is that's been taking so long to happen or like that you've been waiting for it, you you can expect um like there's this shift in the air there's this change in the air with this wheel of fortune and like you this is something here that's destined for you like you're creating your destiny you're creating your future your choices here um because of some sort of persistence and hard work that's finally like paying off 
I know that's real general, but yeah, you, you know, you're being blessed. There's some sort of, uh, of blessing coming in. Also too, like if you, for the person that's watching this and I, and I know this isn't everyone, but, um, I'm seeing someone going to court regarding children. You may be wanting like child support or custody. It's like, I'm seeing whatever this is that you're going to court for working in your favor. Um, it, or like getting what you had hoped or expected out of this court related issue. Um, it, cause something here is going to be fair. Especially where children are involved with that six of cups there. Okay. Let's dive into this and get some more information. Oh, I'm also too seeing someone tell you how they feel. You may have been waiting for someone to come and um, and, and express their feelings or to really, you know, like the relationship has been taking a while or like you've been waiting for love. You've been like looking for love and all the wrong faces, searching for love and too many faces. <laughs> But there is, there's like this kind of um, spark, you know, so someone here coming in to make amends and like rekindling something with you that felt like it would never happen or felt like this person may have had ex um, excuse after excuse or reason after reason why they couldn't um, give to you or give to the connection. All right, Spirit, can you clarify this reading, please? Can you clarify this reading, please? What is this Knight of Pentacles? What is this Knight of Pentacles for the collective? What is this Knight of Pentacles? Soulmate, one of a kind, coming home, compliment each other. Uh, so you've been like really, uh, whoever this is for, like you've been holding out hope for, for a, a person. This may be someone that you're dating or, um, if you've been in separation from a person and you've been, um, waiting for this person to come back, waiting for this person to come back, um, then there is definitely like that, uh, a positive sign there. Um, but like, if you've just been really waiting for your person to actually put in that effort to show you something like this person here, um, it's like finally starting to, to, to see some progress in, in this connection, you know, no more holding back this person. You may be dealing with someone who, um, has been working a lot or like they work a lot. They, um, have other responsibilities um, and so you've been wondering, like, does this person love me? Do, you know, is this worth it? Because they, you know, m must have already have all this stuff on their plate. Um, and I feel like this could be someone that you are hooked on or that you, you know, is going to come in and show you that. Yeah. Like I, 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 I am hooked on you. Like I, I am infatuated with you. Uh, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with you just as much as you're obsessed with me. It's like this person wants to come in and like compromise or like make some sort of sacrifice. Can you clarify this Queen of Cups spirit for the collective? The Queen of Cups up in the air. You may be like, yeah, things have been, um, uh, like uncertain and like you may have felt um like this person kept you wondering like how they felt about you because they have been working or they have been they have had other priorities they have uh, had other things going on and so like you didn't know like where where you stood with this person where the relationship was headed 
you know, they were, they were very inconsistent or have been inconsistent with showing how much they love you or how, um, how devoted they are to you because of the, these other things. So there, there is going to be more like emotional closeness between the two of you, more consistency in their feelings. And you're going to feel as though your feelings are reciprocal. Yeah. Because you've been searching for more. You've been wanting to like there to be. Um, you. It's almost like maybe the connection has been a bit shallow. And now there's a deeper dive going on. Like, you know, you're finally, there's like a deeper connection between the two of you. Or you're going to feel a, this deeper connection between the two of you. What is this three of cups or there's going to be there it, for some of you, this is a new person that's going to come in that you're, you're not going to have to guess like you're going to know how they feel because they're going to show it. And this is a true soulmate. So like if you've been dealing with someone where things have been left up in the air and you didn't know where you stood, like you didn't know how they felt about you, you felt like maybe you cared more than they cared about you. It's like there's going to be a new person that look, look, there's going to be a, uh, some uh, someone coming in expressing their feelings where you have been uncertain. So, um, but if you're currently in a relationship where you didn't know how they stood, where they stood in the relationship where things were very uncertain or, or you've been on shaky ground within the connection with this, um, card here, we have a phone and it says, love, uh, it says love call slash text, loving communication, sweet talk, express your feelings. This is this person going to come in and express their feelings here to you so that you know, without a doubt how they feel. Yeah. Cause it's like you, they, they've been hiding their true self, hiding their true feelings or like, you know, it, it's just been very on again, off again, or hot and cold touch and go. You know, um, and and so they've really been dragging their feet to give you something more solid where you don't have to feel so emotionally insecure when you're around them, or you may have felt needy around them because they have, they've, they've left you feeling needy because you, um, didn't know how they felt because they were dragging their feet. They had other priorities, other things going on, and they made you feel like you wasn't a priority in their life. And so now there's going to be like a breakthrough in the communication that, that clears things up for you. So, um, but also too, it's like showing you, like they're going to show you how they feel too. It's like, they're not just going to talk about it. They're going to be about it. Spirit, can you clarify the three of cups here? Can you clarify this three of cups, please? Shattered. Oh my gosh. okay there may have been um some some interference in in, in your connection you may have felt heartbroken or rejected there you could be also um for some of you uh, watching, it's not necessarily like um, a, a love triangle or three different people for for the majority of you watching. For some of you watching, there is like this love triangle and, and you may be getting an offer here from someone that is a soulmate that is going like leaving you uncertain now about where you stand, like where if you even want to be in a, in a relationship, because now you may have to like choose someone or something else for some of you um, watching. Um, so you may have to like break someone's heart so you can be with this soulmate. Um, so, oh wow I just got a, a loud whoosh in my ear it was like a loud low sounding frequency in my ear and I know that doesn't make any sense a loud low frequency but that's the only thing I know how to ex explain it <clears throat> 
I'm gonna have to get some more information here. I'm gonna use a different deck. You know, there may be a reunion with someone, though. There may be a reunion with someone, and you realize that you are better off without them. Like, realizing that this person... Because the Three of Cups can represent a reunion, and with this shattered, deep sadness, you may there may be a reunion with someone in your life, and then you realize that they were out of your life for a reason. And you're like, why did I, why did I allow this person back into my life? You know, but also too, for some of you, like there is someone trying to like sabotage your happiness or trying to sabotage your relationship. This could even be like some self-sabotaging going on because of some, um, uh, emotional neediness. All right, let's get some more information. Ooh, we got Soul Tribe, too. You know what? You know what? Though, there may be, like, some, this Soul Tribe, because the Three of Cups definitely can represent your Soul Tribe. There may be some friends or, or a friend or some people in your life that are trying to help you get out of some sort of heartbreaking situation. That may be trying, there may be someone though, a, a friend or someone that is trying to tell you that you should leave your romantic partner or leave your person because of, you know, they don't have time for you or they think they're so inconsistent or they, they leave you feeling uncertain about the relationship. So you should just leave them. I'm not saying that you should, but I'm just saying this, this friend or this person here that's part of your soul group could be, um, trying to, to get you to leave this person or to leave someone. For some of you, this could be a cousin or someone like in your extended family. Um, I'm also too seeing like s somewhat like this. Okay, so this may also okay because again, like this is collective, and so like I'm getting all these messages coming. I'm seeing like um, I'm seeing. Uh, like you may be feeling uncertain about how you feel about a friendship, the, you know, about some, uh, someone that's part of your friend group. And like, you're trying to decide on whether or not you want to, um, break up with one of your friends because I feel like in the past, like, um, there was a lot between the two of you. There was this closeness, like this may, this friend may have been a soulmate to you, but soulmates grow apart just like anybody else. Spirit, can you give me some more uh, information about this reading? Risk. Trickster. Okay, too many cards. I only want single jumping cards, but be careful. Um, there may be someone that wants that. It's like be careful though just be careful because there's someone here that like you you may want to use caution with and not be so naive around certain people because this risk is making me think of the fool card and the fool can a lot of the times be very naive and just believe people 
Um, so you may want to be very um, cautious and try not to allow yourself to be so naive around certain people because I am getting like some fake friend energy and this person trying to like manipulate or deceive you. Um, so like really don't allow yourself to get sucked into like lies or manipulation or like someone trying to tell you that you should break up with someone um, because of X, Y, or Z because they it's like they're they're a trickster they're a manipulator they're um a ringmaster can i get single jumping cards to clarify this reading spirit please thank you oh your level look childhood Okay, so a lot of you have really grown, like you have grown so much, and there's, uh, you need to like surround yourself with people that are on your level. I want to point out too, on the on your level, we have these three beautiful women right here, it, and then on the three of cups, it looks like, oh, okay, no, it's not the same women, but these um and but we have three beautiful women right here too so you may want to really be careful about who you have in your life like uh for some of you you may have um be friends with someone either like since you were a child or like you um uh have been friends with someone for a really long time um but you regardless with the childhood card it can represent memories so you may have like <clears throat> just memories um of the past with this with a particular person but like you need to really choose or be very discerning who you allow in uh, around you and make sure that they're on your level show me clearly spirit can i get single jumping cards only or i can pull the cards to clarify spirit tell me more about thank you mother father okay we will s clarify that some of you you could be um dealing with your own mother or father who could be um all right, this is not for everyone, but this is a very strong message I'm getting. I'm get I'm picking up a mother or a father that is gossiping to your siblings about you or you're dealing with a sibling that is gossiping to your mother or father about you. All right, but I will clarify and get more information on why the mother father card came out. And they may be talking about like what you do for work or like what, you know, you going back to school or talking about like, you know, um, a side hustle that you have. Um, something that you're, you know, some sort of an opportunity that's coming to, towards you. All right. So we do have the nourish card coming out and that's about like, you know, taking care of your physical body, taking care of your temple. And, and, and it says, um, time to work towards your temple and feed your body what it needs instead of BS mentally, physically, and emotionally. You complain about the issues, but make no changes to your physical, spiritual diet. It's hypocrisy so you may be complaining about how you feel um physically mentally emotionally spiritually to um to certain people but you haven't really made the change for others of you like you're you could be dealing with a parental figure or 
or a baby mama, baby daddy that is complaining about, you know, how they're feeling or what they're going through, but they're not like making any kind of changes to make themselves better. Okay. Can you clarify this actual reading spirit? Okay. And we got journal. So they're still giving me more messages here about this nourishing. So they're not really um, clarifying this, which is sometimes happens, but this is journaling. So you may want to like spend time though. You may want to like write how you're feeling to a particular person. Um, you may want to like write out how you're feeling um, because it might be easier for you to be able to get everything out. You also may want to like actually just keep a journal or like writing down um, uh, your dreams, whatever it is that you can remember, you know, keeping a dream journal um, or like if you don't remember how, you know, what you dreamed about, you can just write down how you felt when you woke up or like anything at all that you remember about the night before. Um, and then also like, you know, getting organized um, and like writing out like what you eat and things like that. That's just a side note. But can you, um, let's just clarify the um, Queen of Cups here, Spirit. Can you clarify the Queen of Cups with this up in the air? Self-improvement. You know what? And then goals. This is, they're telling you right now. So like if you're feeling right now where things you you may have been very inconsistent allowing your emotions to get the better of you and keeping you like in this place of uncertainty you know um and it's because like you need to really focus on yourself turning the focus to your own development is key at the moment and this will bring more peace and harmony self journey so like you may have been focusing too much on other people giving to other people that don't care about you or don't care about you as much as you care about them you know so right now is the time to really get focused on you know, your overall health and well-being, you know, get focused on like creating a diet and sticking to it, you know, like eating all of your fruits and veggies and like, you know, getting adequate exercise and like seeing the doctor and things like that. Because like, if you're, you may be feeling like, um, I'm telling you, I know from experience that your eating habits and, and junk and eating junk and stuff like that, like it really does affect your mood and, and your emotions and your spiritual connection and as well as like your intuition, your discernment. It can cause you to react emotionally to certain things um, and feel ungrounded when you're not taking care of your physical body, believe me, I understand. But spirit is telling you that it, it is time for you to like focus on long term goals, you know, um, and it says whether this be career, business, entrepreneurship, learning a new skill, college, higher education, learning, or investments, etc. Take action. So you may be feeling very like uncertain about like goals or like second guessing yourself about your goals, whether again, that be in your career, your business, your entrepreneurship, going back to school, learning a new skill, you know, whatever it is, like it is time for you to take action and, and, and be consistent with it. Like there are going to be people that support you and there may be some people that are heartbroken that you're putting your you first and like taking your destiny and putting it into your own hands, you know, and changing things for you. But they'll get over it. <laughs> they'll get over it. Okay. 
So this this reading was a little little all over the place, but it, I guess you know spirit had reason for for the messages. You know, there's a reason for everything. Question your beliefs often. Release what isn't working. Look, uncertain. Nothing is set in stone. It's okay for you to change how you feel about certain situations or certain things. Question your beliefs often. Release what isn't working. And then each morning you may be born anew. Or sorry, each morning we may be born anew. What we do now is what matters most. So you have the ability to like... Um, change your future every day, every moment, every second, especially every morning when you wake up. Imagine knowing that, you know, you have woke up in a, in a whole new timeline and a whole new universe, you know, and think about what you want to accomplish for the day and get organized and not procrastinate. Is there any, can I get one final message for the collective spirit? One final message. There was a lot of messages here this time. I think we'll, we're going to do a Celtic cross reading next time. And we have talk to the dead. You are never truly alone. Look, and then, then, then on the bottom of the deck, it's like Ivy. We grow best where there is room for us. And then look, it's a, it's a headstone. You are capable of talking to the dead. If you're here right now, you're listening to my words and you've been watching this, you are capable. Like you do have these mediumship abilities. Um, but more than anything, um, I've been getting a lot about a message. We saw something about a message about communication earlier, but, um, let me look at the little book that comes with this. Okay. And it says, we hear you. You may have a mother and father that have crossed over. Um, so if you've, if you have a mother or a father that has passed, that has crossed over and you have spoken to them recently, they want you to know that they do hear you. And, and it says our departed loved ones in the, in the spirit realm can hear and understand us. They really can. I'm telling you, it, 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 they they are right there. I promise you when you talk to them, they can hear you. They understand. And they, they even get frustrated sometimes when we can't understand them. But, um, spirit is our truest form and, because yeah, that is, that is who we truly are. So you are basically a ghost in a meat suit. I mean, seriously, that's what you are. We are all ghosts in a meat suit. Um, so Spirit is our truest form and the spirit realm is our true home. Spirits who love us send us signs and feel our emotions. They do. They know you're feeling scared. They know you're feeling uncertain. You know, they, they know you are feeling um, shattered, but your soul group, your soul team, like they're there, you know, they got you. Um, they support our journey. Look, they are supporting your journey so if you're feeling um rejected or you're feeling alone they're like no we're there we're here supporting you uh communicate with them they embrace imperfections fulfill your unique journey on earth knowing reunion awaits look knowing reunion awaits they never judge us for they have let go of guilt and shame. Rest assured that your departed loved ones are always present, even though you may not see or hear them directly. Their love and guidance continues to guide you as you navigate life's journey, as you navigate the sadness, the, you know, the rejection. Some of you, I'm um, seeing like a grandmother or grandfather that's on the other side. 
also too i'm seeing a, a a grandmother or a grandfather that you may not have necessarily been close to like you may have felt rejected but they're like look i love you um i'm supporting you and you know they're they're there they're there to help you even though you may not have had like the closest relationship others of you you did have like a very very strong close bond with this grandparent that has crossed over and wants and and you may feel like rejected from the rest of the family but this grandparent is like um you're not alone you're not rejected you have me and so many other um uh, crossed over loved ones that you have and haven't met that are really supporting you so their love and guidance continues to guide you as you navigate life's journey embrace their support and cherish the unbreakable bond you share so the advice is for you to talk to the dead because you are never truly alone and then maybe even um, ask yourself if i could talk to someone i love who has died what would i say and also what are my beliefs about the afterlife so those are questions to ask yourself about this particular card so um this is what i have for you guys this was um you know interesting to say the least so anyways i will let you guys go and i will see you on the next one and if you guys have like any um, particular questions or area of life that you would like for me to focus on in the next reading um you know to where uh we're just get something more i don't know that's not quite so all over the place <laughs> but if you guys have like any particular areas of life or like a question or like maybe you know focus on like who were you in a past life or like anything at all please feel free to like either let me know in the comments or send me an email um and yeah so this is what i have for now and i'm gonna let you guys go and i love you and the divine in me bows to the divine in you namaste